Hello friends, welcome back. My name is Dr. Vijay Bhatia. Today we are discussing about delusions. What is a delusion? It's a belief that is firmly held on inadequate grounds, is not affected by rational argument or evidence to the contrary and is not a conventional belief that the person might be expected to hold given his educational and cultural background. The nature of the mental processes that led up to the belief is not true. Example, a man believes his wife is not faithful when there is no rational ground for holding on to it. So there are few things. So number one, it is a belief and it is firmly held and held on inadequate grounds. This is the most important part that when you have developed a thought, in this case, there is a man, he is not trusting his wife, but the way he came to this conclusion is not logical, is not reasonable, is not the way he should have reached to that conclusion. Even though this person may be unfaithful in the real sense, but the way this mental processes has happened, the way he is giving reasoning, there is no logical mental processes going on to conclude this. It is just a belief and it is false and we do not have enough evidence to believe that. Descriptions of delusions. Now, delusions can be complete delusions, meaning when they're fully formed and with full conviction. And it can come out of the blue. The person is just thinking that way, that everyone is against him, or he is going to the prison, or he has done something wrong when he has done nothing wrong. So this is a complete conviction fully formed and he believes in without any evidence and if others try to argue that and give counter um, uh, evidence, he, he would not believe that. And there are other types of delusions which are called partial delusions because these develop slowly and gradually and they, they again, remember one thing in even in this one, the way the mental processes work, the way he has reached to that conclusion does not make any sense, does not make any reasoning to come to the, even though if this has happened in over a period of time. Double orientation. What happens is, patient who is wholly convinced that the belief he's holding is true, although this is a delusional belief, but he doesn't see as a delusional, he see the belief as true. And this conviction does not necessarily influence all his feelings and actions. Let's take an example. I think that will make it understand better. So a patient believes that he is a member of the royal family, but in reality, he is living contently, quite satisfactorily in a hostel for psychiatric patients. So if he is believing that he is to the royal family, you would expect him to dress um, in good clothes, he's nicely clean and washed and speaking in that language. But what happens, he, although he's saying that he is 
belongs to the royal family but he is living like any other patient on a psychiatric ward and his feelings and actions are not necessarily related to what his belief is. What is an overvalued idea? We have to differentiate between delusion and overvalued idea. And in overvalued idea, it is isolated, preoccupying beliefs. Again, this is a belief and the person is very much preoccupied, but this is an isolated belief. This is one or a single or a, a, a small group of belief and they are very isolated and they are not delusional. The person or the person observing them will try to argue some of them and give some kind of reasoning behind it. And these are not delusional and they are not obsessional in nature, which comes to dominate a person's life for many years and may affect his emotions. The Preoccupying belief may be understandable. That's where the difference is between, between delusion, because in delusion, we don't understand why the person is believing that way. In this case, it may be understandable when the person's background is known. Let's take an example. For example, a person whose mother and sister, sister both suffered from cancer, one after the other. And now this person is preoccupied with the conviction that cancer is contagious because he is giving some kind of underlying reasoning behind it. Although we are trying to convince him that cancer is not contagious and we explain to him the way it progresses and grows and other things. But his conviction is very sure that the example with his mother and followed by the sister, the sister caught the cancer from the mother and that's why cancer is contagious. That's why it is overvalued idea and not delusional or obsessional. What is primary delusion? What happens in primary delusion is that appears suddenly the belief comes and it is fully formed and is convinced fully and it becomes suddenly with the full conviction and a without any mental events leading to it. That's why it is primary. For example, a patient may be suddenly and completely convinced that he is changing sex without ever having thought about it before and without any preceding ideas or events which could have led in understandable way to this conclusion. So we don't know why this person is suddenly started to believe this and there is no events before it, no explanation to it. The person suddenly came to us and told me that he wants to change, he is changing his sex or he, he believes that he is changing sex. The belief arrives in the mind suddenly, fully formed and in totally convincing form. What is secondary delusion? So we have seen primary delusion. This is secondary. So it can happen. It can be understood as derived from some preceding morbid experience. Morbid is something uh, with, with like a disease or some kind of abnormal, strange, uh, which shouldn't be there. Experience can be hallucination, like someone who hears a voice may believe he is being followed. So what we are saying is this belief that this person is being followed, his belief that he's being followed is because of the hallucination. That's why it is secondary and not primary. Or it can happen with the mood. A person who is depressed may believe that other people think he is worthless. So in this case is secondary because this person is suffering from depression and now he is believing that other people are thinking about him and believing that he is worthless. And now he starts to 
believe that he is worthless as well. Or it can have happened from an existing delusion. A person with a delusion that he lost all his money may come to believe that he will be put in the prison for failing to pay his debts. So there are few things he already have a false belief that he has lost all his money. And now the second re delusion is that he will go to the prison. Why? Because he will not be able to pay his debts. And sometimes what happens, this keeps on happening, happening and there is accumulation of secondary delusions and they result in a complicated delusional system in which each belief can be understood as following from one before. They are called systematized delusions. Shared delusions. As a rule, other people recognize delusions as false and argue with the patient in an attempt to correct them. Occasionally, a person who lives with a deluded patient comes to share his delusional beliefs. The condition is known as shared delusion. And in France or French, it's called folie et dukes. Although the second, second person second person's delusional conviction is as strong as the partner's while they are together. It often recedes quickly when they are separated. So what happens in this case? There is a one person here who believes as a delusion and the other person lives with him. This person in the beginning tries to explain to him this is false. However, over a period of time, they both start to believe in the same delusion. And when we try to separate them again, uh, this normal person uh, uh, will lose the conviction that, they, that what this person was believing is true. However, when they were living together, they believed that that is the case. Delusional mood. What happens in this is the experience is the change of mood. So what happens? A person is changed in his mood often a feeling of anxiety with the foreboding that some sinister event is going to take place and then the delusion follows. Let's take an example. After a sense of foreboding lasting for several hours, the person concludes that there is a plot to assassinate him. So in this case, a person is feeling anxious and he knows that something bad is going to happen and over a period of time, within few hours or some days even, then he starts to believe there is conclusion that somebody, there is a plot going on to assassinate him. And that's why he's feeling anxious. What comes first? The anxiety or the mood. And what develops afterward is a belief which is false. So that's why it is called delusional mood. What is delusional perception? The same thing here. A percept happens. You see a familiar percept. You see an object. You see, a, let's say I'm seeing a white van. And I see a white van here and there and everywhere. Now, this is a normal percept. The white vans are everywhere. But then the person starts giving a meaning to it that white van is following me because everywhere I go, I see a white van and I start running from it. And the moment you start running it, you see another white van similar to the one with a different number. But the person believes that it all is a part of the gang which is following him in the white van. So for example, there's another example, a new arrangement of objects on a colleague's desk may be interpreted as a sign that the patient has been chosen to do God's work. So the person go and visit his colleague who has a certain pattern of uh, things arranged on the table and the person starts believing that he is the chosen one uh, by the God because of this arrangement. That will be normal perception, giving a false meaning to it, calling delusional perception. What is illusion of doubles? In this one, now, this is called illusion for a reason. We will talk about that. A patient sees a familiar person. 
So you meet a person you, who is familiar to you and then believe him to have been replaced by an imposter who is exact double of the original. So you see your, uh, let's say, brother and you see him, you know him, but this time you are thinking, hang on, this is not my real brother. This looks like my brother, but he's not real. He's an imposter. He is there to harm him or kill him or do something bad to him. So that's why there is some kind of percept and you are giving the meaning to it a different meaning. And you are recognizing this person as a percept, as a, a, a because there is a stimulus outside and you are thinking, this is not this, but this is something different, which looks similar, and this is imposter. That's why it is illusion of doubles. And if these symptoms persist for a long time, especially in um, uh, severe depression, it's called Capgras syndrome. Whereas the opposite of this, what will be the opposite? Uh, the opposite false interpretation of experience occurs when a patient recognizes a number of people as having different appearances, but believe that they are a single persecutor in disguise. This is called Frigoli delusion. Now, it's important to understand this. You see normal people, different shapes, different sizes, different colors, but you start believing that they all are one person disguised in different forms and they are either after you or can cause harm to you. So that's where it is uh, Fregoli delusion. Delusional memories. Now what happens is what we are saying is that delusion is a false belief and we have seen that it can happen from the mood, it can happen from the percept, in this case, it is happening from the memories. So we have certain memories. Let's say in the, this example, a person vomited in the past after eating a meal, but now a year later or something that he believes that he was poisoned. He was given the poison which made him sick. So there is a memory there. He remembered getting a sick after getting a meal and now he's giving the uh, belief to that which is false uh, that is, is attached to that memory so that's why it is delusional memory thank you for watching there is a next video on delusional th themes like persecutory delusions grandiose delusions and other delusions if you like the video please press the like button and subscribe the channel to watch other videos Please also recommend to others and share. I'll see you again.